it's so good to see you this morning. We are in another brand new day and we need to find out what the day is. Let's see if we can figure it out. We are in the month of May. Remember we have a new month. M-A-Y. May. And we have our flowers here on our card because last month we had all the rain, remember with our umbrella? And all the flowers grew. So in the month of May, we have all the pretty blooms and the flowers outside, and we are still in springtime. So we're in the month of May, and today is May 4th, the number four. May 4th, 2000. And 20. And now we need to find out what day it is. Let's see. Yesterday was Sunday. We have our marker on Sunday. So we need to sing our song and figure out what today is. Does anybody know without singing our song? Hmm. That's a tough one. Let's see if we can sing our song and find out, okay? Ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So if yesterday was Sunday, tomorrow's going to be Tuesday. That means today is Monday. That's right. Today is Monday and we're going to move our marker and put it into our orange rectangle. It is Monday, May 4th, 2020. Good job. Now in order to practice knowing what our months of the year are, we have a special song that we sing, right? Our months of the year and we have a silly dance that we do. So I hope that you are doing it with me at home. Stand up, stand up, and let's do our months of the year song. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Are you ready? Sing with me. I need help. Let's go. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Yay! Good job! Give yourself a round of applause. You guys are so awesome. All right, what is our weather like today? You're all weather watchers. Since we are not in the classroom, you get the special job of being your weather watcher at home. So let's get our handy goggles out and... Weather watcher, weather watcher, what do you see? What do you see? Tell us what the weather's like. Tell us what the weather's like. Won't you please? Won't you please? All right. Have you had a chance to look outside today yet? If you haven't, make sure you do and you can see what your weather is like. That way you know how to dress properly so that you aren't too cold or too hot. So let's see on our wheel. Is it sunny outside? Do we need to put some sunblock on and wear our t-shirts and shorts? Hmm. Is it sunny and warm? Is it foggy outside? See all the fog? I don't know if you can see that. All the fog, hmm, or is it rainy? Do we need our umbrella and our raincoat and our rain boots today? How about windy? Is the wind blowing and all the leaves are blowing or sometimes the grass blows around? Or is it snowy? Do we need to have our snow hats and our gloves on? Hmm, I don't know, because I haven't looked outside yet today. Or is it cloudy? Are there clouds in the sky? We know that sometimes the weather can change throughout the day too, right? It could be both of these. It could be cloudy and sunny or cloudy and rainy. That a lot of times goes together. And 
in the morning it could be sunny and then in the afternoon it could rain or in the morning it could be rainy and then the sun comes out in the afternoon. So we need to pay attention to the weather, right, to see what kind of clothes we should be wearing outside. So get outside today or look outside and tell your special adult what the weather is like today. Good job, friends. Okay, now let's practice our counting. We're going to do something a little bit different this week. You see that our gumball machine still is full with all of our gumballs that we had in it last week, right? And I think we counted 30 gumballs last week. That's a whole lot of gumballs. And our machine is very full. So we're not going to add any more gumballs. But let's take a look at what we have in here. Do you notice anything about our gumball machine? Do you notice that the colors are grouped together, aren't they? I see the color green, and we have the color orange, and we have yellow, red, purple, and blue. Those are our colors that we have in our gumball machine. Let's see if we can count the colors and how many we have in each color. All right, make sure that you're counting with me from home, okay? Are you ready? We're gonna count the green gumballs first. One, two, three, four, five. We have five green gumballs, good job. Let's see how many orange gumballs we have. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. We have five orange gumballs. How many yellow do you think we have? Did you say five? I don't know. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. You were right. We have five yellow, five orange, and five green. Let's see how many purple we have. One, two, three, four, five. We have five purple. Five's a pretty popular number with our gumballs. Let's see how many blue. Do you think we have five blue? Hmm. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six. We have six blue. Blue's trying to be tricky. It has one more in there than the others. How about red? Hmm. Can you tell just from looking at it? Let's count. One, two, three, four. There's only four red. So we have five green, five orange, five yellow, five purple four red, and six blue. And if you were to add all of those together, that all of those make 30. Good job. We will do some more counting this week and do some other things with our gumballs and practice a little bit of adding. And I know you guys can do it because you're so super smart. Now we're going to blast off. We haven't done that in quite some time. So everybody get into your rocket positions. Let's see your rocket positions. And we're going to count down from 10 and blast off. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 